Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Just figured to make a quick tutorial video on how to use the Google Task Manager, uh, which is integrated into uh, a couple of Google products such as Gmail and Google Calendar. And it's a great way to manage any lists or to-do lists, task lists, whatever you want to call them. In order to use the Task Manager, you can simply log into your Gmail account and then click on this uh, task button right here, which will pop up a little task uh, to-do list right here in the bottom right hand side of the screen. The list that comes up is a default list. You can actually have more than one list and you can w once it comes up it should have it ready for you to enter in a new task. So we'll do that. We'll call this task task 1. And uh, all you need to do is just press enter and the task is entered. With the task list you can actually uh, minimize it just like you would a regular computer program. You can pop it out in case you want to have a separate window or whatnot, so you can minimize it. And uh, also, you can pop it back in here. You can actually exit out of it completely and just hit the task button up here again to go back to it. So once you've entered in a task or two, we'll enter another one just uh, so we can, for the purpose of showing you. You can actually order your tasks if you want to, just by clicking and dragging. Uh, if you're done with a task, all you need to do is check it off like that. And if you accidentally checked off a task, you can simply uncheck it. Each task also has details which you can edit, uh, such as a due date that you can set. Um, you can also check it off right within this menu here. And you can add some notes about it. And remember how I said earlier, there you can have more than one list. You can actually switch the task to a different list if you so desire. Um, these tasks also have a bunch of actions that you can do with them, such as indent them. Um, unindent, move up, move down, uh, edit the details, stuff that you can do just up here by doing simple things like that. There's also a help and show tips. You can you can email the task list, task list to people if you'd like to share it with them, or you can email it to yourself or something. You can actually print it, which is a nice feature in case you want to make a grocery list or to-do list and uh, take it on the go with you. You can view choose to view only completed tasks, sort them by the to-do date, so the due date so you know you know which has to be done first and you can just clear all the completed tasks. For example, we'll enter a couple more here. Three, four, five. Let's say we complete three, four, and five. All you need to do is just click clear completed tasks and it erases them for you. Um, another way that you can add a new task to the to your list here is just click on the plus button and then you can add, you can say like task three. And then you can again move them around and whatnot. Okay, so if you have a task that you don't want anymore, like this one up at the top, all you need to do is click on it and click on the Delete Task button, and it'll take it away for you. This little button down here is actually how you can manage your different lists. You can uh, refresh your list, rename your list, delete your list, and create a new list. So we'll create a new list right now, and we'll call it Video. And then this, it'll bring you straight to uh, a new list. It has the same settings as before. So you can create a new task, we'll say video 1, video 2, video 3, and within these you can do the same thing, move them around, whatnot. Uh, but the difference is that you're on a separate list, so you don't have to confuse your tasks with one another. So if you want to switch back to the default list that we were just on, you just click on this button right here and click default list. And remember earlier how I said you can, you can click on your details list and move it to a different list? There's where you can do that. So, since the since we moved this task, it says down here that the list of video is not visible now, so this task will no longer be shown. It means that this task, task one that we moved over to the video list, will no longer be shown on the task on the default task list. So, if you want to have it on both lists, you'll have to create it again. So, if you want to go to the video, you'll see that we have task one, and we can check that off right there. Um, so we can switch back to the default list. So basically, this is how you can do it. You can have as many lists as you want. If you're someone that likes to create maybe a list for work, school, grocery list, to-do list. So this is basically a pretty simple thing that you can do here. And if you set a due date on a task, you can go over to Google Calendar. And then you can uh, actually choose to make the task show up on the calendar, which is pretty nice if you uh, use your Google Calendar a lot. You can see what you have to do and when it has to be done by. But anyway, this is uh, basically it for this tutorial. Uh, just a quick rundown on how to use the Google Tasks. It's a nice feature to use. It can come in handy. I've used it for uh, a couple things before.
and I like it. So, um, if you want to, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the in the comments below, and or you can send me a message on YouTube. And also, please feel free to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com/jamiemcg. And for more tech news, tips, tricks, uh, tutorials, please feel free to visit technicalcafe.com. Thanks for watching.